everyone welcome to my channel I am Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady and if you are new here welcome if you are a returning Yarny Cat welcome back so today I wanted to give you all a little update on me I made a few things on uh, the Addy and the Centro actually just the Centro <laughs> um, and a progress update on my knit shawl but first, um, I want to kind of tell y'all without really going into detail what's been happening to me and what to expect in September. So, um, I have a condition that is not contagious, that is kind of genetic, hereditary, whatever you want to call it, um, and it's not curable but it's manageable with antibiotics so since March of last year yeah March I have been off and on antibiotics three different ones and last month in July I took a course of two of them and finished it at the beginning of August and one of them caused a secondary condition <laughs> and that's what made me sick here recently I am better um, but I went to the doctor last Thursday and they did a couple of tests and one of them came back for that secondary condition uh, positive so they are taking care of that they prescribed some antibiotics more antibiotics and some other medications um, to help clear that up good thing is that one is curable but bad thing is it might also come back even after treating it so fun um, then also while I was at the doctor they did blood work all that came back wonderful so no problems there and another condition I have that was flaring up at the time uh, they referred me to a surgeon and I might have to have surgery in September so that might affect my videos and my lives uh, live shows for September um, I will update y'all when I know something I go see the surgeon on September 9th so I will let y'all know of course what will happen then um, other than that I'm getting better I'm on day four of the new antibiotics one antibiotic which this is very very crazy um, one of the antibiotics they tried to give me for the secondary condition there's only a few of them I can take because I'm allergic to a lot of medication um, some of the big guns out there like penicillin and amoxicillin I'm allergic to so I'm very limited on what I can take one of the ones they gave me or tried to give me I don't have insurance and it was over four thousand dollars I said no not for a condition that can come back so they went a different course and I got something cheaper that was more affordable so hoping that this takes care of that and I will be back to normal um, hopefully soon now um, for the other announcements I don't know if I'll be able to attend the Yarnaholics live on Sunday I might try to pop in for a few minutes but we will see I was scheduled to go live with Connie on Saturday but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that either I have a live scheduled for Tuesday if I'm filling up to it I might do a 15 to 20 minutes little live but we'll just have to play it by ear and see how everything goes um, so let's get into the yarny talk for this week I did forget a project so I will be right back okay so um, I didn't get much knitting done over the last week when I was sick but I did get a couple of rows done um, when I would feel good enough and could do some I think I've done 
uh, 10 rows since I last updated y'all. From the stitch marker here is how much I've gotten done on my stole. Knitting is slow going. <laughs> now, for those of you that have an Addy or a Centro, y'all know there's not much to it, just turning a handle. So whenever I felt good enough, I would uh, make something. I was trying to learn how to do the flat panel. I'm going to definitely have to watch a video on doing that. Um, but I did make two hats and a cowl. Now, the last Yarny Talk Thursday that I did, I showed you all the socks, the pink and black ones. Well, I made a hat to go with it with a big black pom-pom and a cowl to match. Now, this can be worn several different ways. You can wear it as a headband. You can wear it as a cowl, and it can actually go up over your head. Um, so I did make that and I absolutely love this next one. It's a hat and this can be reversed. It is doubled. Now the outside is swirled, but when you reverse it, that kind of came out pretty cool. I thought that was kind of neat. I kind of like this side a lot better. I don't know, but I absolutely love this yarn. It was Red Heart Bon Bon, I believe, and I love the colors. Very, very pretty. So that's what I did. Now something non-yarny related, but chicken related, I we had to wait um, to be seen by the doctor Tuesday to get my blood work and I had to go get cat food so I went to the Dollar General across the street waiting on them and I saw this cute painting and it was on sale and I absolutely love it look at that ain't that adorable I was like oh my god I gotta have that so I got it and I just think it is super cute. Who wouldn't love a chicken in glasses? <laughs> so, um, and some other news about Tom. Um, y'all know the cat toy that I have. It's It's got a handle and a little ball and you stuff it and it has a bell inside and a little twirly thing on the end. Uh, it's my pattern. I do have a tutorial for it on my channel. For those cat lovers out there well he came around the other day and or other night should I say because he only comes around at night and I'm able to get about three to four feet away from him which that's a big improvement um, and he started playing with the toy here within the last two weeks and I was throwing it to him and we were connected by both ends. I thought that was so awesome. He actually was playing with it while I was holding it and didn't run. So um, there's a lot of improvement with him there. I'm hoping that maybe one day I'll be able to pet him again. I really don't know what happened to him, but he's coming around little bit by little bit. So I just wanted to tell you all that. I thought that's pretty exciting. So, um, I am going to leave y'all with the Yarny Cat Spotlight. It was a couple of pictures that were submitted, and I really enjoyed seeing their projects. I always do. Um, I have a Facebook group that you can post pictures in if you would like them shared on Thursday's video for Yarny Cat Spotlight. And if, if you don't have Facebook, you can always email them to me. My email is on my About tab, and it listed in every video. So if you want to share some of your pictures of your makes, um, I'd be happy to show them. So with all that being said, um, I hope you all have a wonderful Thursday and a wonderful um, weekend. And I present Yarny Cat Spotlight. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.